Hello and welcome to my new video, through which Charlotte's friendly AI voice will accompany you. My original idea for the video was to celebrate my 1,000 subscribers by showing you what my style of prompting is, and to put my gathered prompt lists into a workflow that you could have downloaded from my website afterwards. But then Matteo from the Latent Vision channel published a new node that allows you to influence the individual blocks of image generation via prompt injection. This had been on my wish list for a while. However, after a short test with various models, I realized that this would require more time. So it came in handy that I bumped into the webcam capture node while checking out the latest comfy updates and immediately integrated it into my IP adapter weight scheduling and animate diff evolved workflow. But enough talk, let's take a look at what this integration looks like. First, we need the basic workflow for the adapters and animate diff evolved. Again, I'm using the workflow that I explained in more detail in the video before last. So you can look it up again if you have any questions. The nodes that are new here are the webcam capture node and an image sender node. As well as two image receiver nodes. By assigning IDs in the image sender node, we can send as many camera images as we want to the IP adapters via the image receiver. In the variant I am showing here, I have added a load image node but it works just as well with only camera images. Almost there. But since the webcam capture node is a bit stubborn, let's take a look at a few useful features of the add group function. This not only ensures that there is a nice background and that the nodes are kept together in groups. It also helps us to switch the individual groups on and off effortlessly via the RG3 Comfy settings. All we need to do is tick the appropriate boxes in the settings and then click on save.
To be able to use the webcam, we have to give the browser permission to do so. However, it is certainly helpful to pay attention to what the camera is focused on because of privacy and so on. As we first need the camera images, we can use the group mute function right here. Now simply click on Q prompt and the image receivers will receive the desired images. As previously mentioned, we can use the link IDs to determine which receiver should receive which image. And that's the digital connection between the real world and AI. Everything you can capture with your camera can now flow into the video generation via the IP adapters and Animate Diff Evolved. One of the great features of the IP adapters is that they are excellent at handling photos taken by a camera. Whether it's two stones and a picture, or a container filled with water and a snow globe in it. A few drops of food colouring or various camera filters. The IP adapters bring it to the sampler. I have added a control net to the workflow so that the continuity and stability of longer videos, that is many frames, does not suffer, even with many input images. All you need to do is download the appropriate control GIF checkpoint via the Comfy UI Manager. In the uncut version of this video, you can watch all my recorded and admittedly sometimes somewhat crazy experiments if you like. That's it for this video for now. If you found it interesting and or helpful, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day.